All right, guys, welcome back to another campaign episode. It's going to be Jean of Arc carrying on with The Rising. So, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump straight in. June 25th, Orléans. Dead France is returning to life. Our army swells with new recruits. In olden times, men swore fealty only to their particular lord. Now, we fight not for the insolent lords and ladies, but for France. For all of us, Joan is France. There is no distinction in our minds. The Dauphin himself has arrived in Orléans. Never have I seen such a celebration. France needs a king, so we must escort the Dauphin to Reims, where he can be properly crowned. Yet, the city of Reims is dangerously menaced by the Anglo-Burgundian army. The cities of Troyes and Chalon also bar the way. Job commands that we must liberate all three cities before the coronation, and we eagerly seek to fight. All right. So, Jean must survive. Too bad. Travel west to help reinforce the French camp. Be wary of opposition along the way. The French can now advance to the Imperial Age, but they still cannot produce gunpowder weapons. Their population limit is 125. Gaining control of the river may be a good strategy, but do not squander your resources needlessly on ships. Chalon is the closest and most vulnerable of the three English occupied towns. Making an example of them early could help even the odds for you in the long run. Remember your objectives, it is not necessary to level the cities, only to force the English to withdraw. Wall off all shallows to slow enemy attacks. <clears throat> Place for two minutes and stops. Okay. Oh, no, Rambo. Alright, uh, the army of France is traveling to a French camp in the west, but the road there is defended by English guards. Joan of Arc will need to reach the camp before she can liberate Troyes, Chalon, and most importantly, Reims. If the French are to crown the Dauphin, Chalon, Troyes, and Rhin, the three towns occupied by the English are across the river and are well defended. The English at Chalon will field knights and cross scorpions and even warships if threatened. The town is unprotected and can be easily reached by crossing the shallows. Troyes is slightly better defended, with walls and a castle protecting the river crossing to the east. However, they are not prepared for an attack from the flanks. They will train pikemen and knights to fight the French, but will also build warships if they feel that they are about to lose control of the river. Reims is a walled city protected by castles and towers. The English garrison there will include longbowmen, light cavalry, knights, mangonels and trebuchets. A true challenge for the French. Luckily, it will be quite some time before they feel confident enough to launch an attack. So, if I remember correctly, I lost um, my heroes here before. <laughs> Surprise. Spoiler alert, I've lost heroes before. I don't remember this mission, honestly. From what I see right now, I don't remember this mission. I also realized I did not turn on Ultra HD graphics, so this game might look slightly worse than it did previously. But we will carry on. Don't need Ultra graphics. I also have the grid mod and the trees, which is also not part of the plan, but hey ho, here we are. Antennas, thank you for the five months, dude. Yes, I am. Okay. It's starting to dawn on me, this mission, a little bit. Oh, that was quick. So, we'll carry on. Um, Ooh. Thank you. We actually have good placed lumber camps and mining camps, etc. That's very rare. Don't know if it was like this in the original as well, but can't complain. 
So yeah, again, I I forgot to activate enhanced graphics and also remove my mods. So we have small trees and we have uh, the grid mod. Hope you guys can forgive me for that. Hey, you're not a scout. It's the same in originals, okay. So I'll just use Jean to scout as we build up our economy. Wish we had this lumber camp here though, would have made more sense, but okay, okay. <laughs> so, look at the French camp we have achieved, destroy the towns in Rochelot, Troyes, and Rheims. We're working at it. Stone is dead. I'm not sure why I'm taking gold already. We don't really need that. Also, they told us to wall off the shallows to uh, prevent early attacks. I'm going I'm just building up a huge scout army here by converting everything. Will Jean run into a castle? Hopefully not. So I, if I remember correctly, there's a small town just up here. Which we could kind of immobilize already. Unless it was walled. Yeah, it was the Chalon. Let's move over there. Grass, oh no. Jean, not yet. You need to live a little bit longer. What? Don't charge, Shalons. Convert! Okay, Whew. Okay, so far so good. So I would like to make a dock as well. Um, let's go and do that right away. I really like to rely on uh, fish these days. Scorpus. I'd be a little bit careful. We don't uh, have that much HP on this woman. Get him. No, it's just a debate. You're nothing to worry about, dude. Hopefully, I didn't trigger anything now, like uh, an attack from them or something. That would not be good. Take out the dock because I don't want competition on the water. I want to be able to fish boom in peace. Okay, green doesn't look like he has much. Can I convert him without him jumping into the town center? Um, looks like I can. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we just take out Queen straight up like this. Stuff, I'll go over and convert whatever other villages I find. Otherwise, it's quite, peace, quite peaceful here. Oh. Oh. They're not fighting. Don't kill the monkeys! Okay, um... So I guess we're taking out green right away. There's a galley. Don't fight me. I come in peace. Yeah, we can take out the town center and then I think we... Uh, 
kill them right away. What is ramming my mill? Unheard of. This type of disrespect. Rainbow returns. Mm. Do apologize, guys, if there is rainbow. Um, hopefully, it's watchable and not too bad. Shalom has been freed. We have freed Shalom, boys. Great to us. Good job, us. So, uh, we have Troy, Troy, sorry, and Rhymes left. We will make our moves slow and steady. Still in a gill nuts. Need to sort that out. Oh boy. I think we're already in a prime position to dominate. To absolutely dominate. Just gotta keep my fish boom going here a little bit. Only other thing I'm thinking about adding is a town center down there, because I'm pretty sure Chalon has resigned. I mean, I know they have resigned, so I think they also deleted that tower, which means I should be able to take that gold without competition. And also, Troyes doesn't seem to have much of an army to show for. So that's looking good. Um, if the stream is stuttering, uh, check the settings if you have low latency activated. If it is activated, that might explain your stuttering and you might want to deactivate that. That could help your situation. If we just take out this. Let me go here and make a siege workshop because Tron already seems pretty dead. So it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm about to build a mining camp there. Oh, they have a castle. That I did not remember. But still, I think if we take out the town center, then we don't have to worry about the cat. Did I lose this villager? No, he's coming. We take out the town center, I don't think we have to worry about the castle either. Now we are population cap to 100 and oh, that's a nice fish to 125. So it might also make sense to stop making will soon. Fifty-four. Let's make a few more wheels, and we're satisfied. I guess that's fine, and we can prepare to go to Imp. Oh, wasn't it one twenty-five before? Here. Was it lower before, or what? I honestly don't know. I'm just repairing with the village of forever. Ram will never die. Oh, 
I feel like I'm missing a second building, probably. And that is a corrupt assumption. Okay, castle Townsend should go down, so let's see if they resign or if they will wait for the castle to go down as well. Seems like here I might have to take the castle as well. Or not. Okay, so they have resigned as well, and now they're my allies, apparently. Which means we only have a Reims uh, again. I mean, the mission is to destroy the town center, so it makes sense. And they should be to the top. So let's go to Imp. We'll send some villagers across and prepare to uh, attack. You hated Poplin when you were a kid? What changed? You still hate it or do you like it now? Okay, so there should be... Let's delete unnecessary population. You guys are unfortunately useless. Fisher is actually really, really solid. So let's find out where the yellow base was. I'm pretty sure it was up to the top here. Yep, there we go. They have Imperial Age. Fort oh, not Imperial Age, they have fortified walls. They're not Imperial Age though. That's good news. We added armor, so Jean will be more resistant. Um, I remember this being harder as well on the old original. Because there were longbows all the time, there were trebs, all that stuff coming our way quite early on. So there is definitely not it's not noticeable that there's a lack of hardest difficulty here. Used to have hardest as well as uh, option. Jean is immortal. <laughs> I'm not gonna think that. I'll make some stables and we'll do chivalry in the unique tech from the Franks. Could be, uh, by the way guys, we might have us look like next month we're going to switch to telecom and I'm going to have 10 times the upload. I think we're going to have 200 uh, upload speed. Which is 10 times more. Right now we have 25, which we're not really getting all the time. So if we're lucky, all our problems with rainbows will disappear. That's at least a dream. Rip Vodafone, yes, indeed. I think I don't even wait for Paladin here. I think we are. I mean, I'm looking at the scores and I'm thinking we can just go and attack as soon as we have upgraded to Cavalier. Don't think we have to worry about anything else. You guys will be sacrificed. I remember when I played this originally, as soon as I built a castle in this area, I was getting trapped by longbows. Need paladins for style points? No. Telecom is good, never have problems with my connection. That's, I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, we plan to switch to Telecom. That is on the on the menu. Beautiful Cavalier, let's go. So let's see how much army they have. Can't imagine it being much. I haven't seen any army yet from them. There they are, with castellage longbows without even Baldkin Arrow. So the resistance from our opponents here is a little bit disappointing. Um, but we'll carry on nonetheless. Not like we have a choice. Charge! Jean! Go, go, go. I think the town center was a little bit slightly further up. Just make, gotta make sure that Jean does not fall. Oh, they have trebs, but they're in Castle Age. It's very impressive how they make trebuchets in the Castle Age. In Presive Stuff. There's the town center, and there's the beautiful cathedral. Wait, could I have just changed my graphics to Ultra? No, I can't. You can't. 
you have to be outside of an actual game. Oh, there we go. Trap fight. So yeah, the resistance was a little disappointing. Um, but what can you do? Bam! There he goes. And we should be victorious. Now the coronation of the Dauphin can proceed. Woo! Uh, I was too late to destroy the cathedral, cathedral. If you wanted to do that, then I should have done that earlier. Well, this was pretty easy. Yes, uh, a little bit disappointing how little resistance there was. Um, if you're interested, I have played through all the original campaigns beforehand, uh, back when HD edition was released. I played through all the original campaigns, and we did have a hardest difficulty there. So it was actually way harder. So right. yeah. if you want to do that, you can look through my channel uh, on my playlists on YouTube, and you will be able to find my original playthroughs as well. And you can compare the difficulties okay. and all that stuff yeah. there. Either way, that was um, the rising. We'll jump back and see what they're saying. As we rode into Reims, a sea of peasants and lords knelt before Joan. Some even knelt to kiss her horses' hoofprints. Cannon thundered, and a thousand flags danced in the breeze. In the enormous palace, the Dauphin knelt before the Archbishop and rose as King of France. Prayers, anthems, and sermons filled the great chateau. Interspersed among perfumed dukes and ladies were tattered soldiers from our army, many still bearing wounds. Joan herself was at the king's side, as was her bedraggled battle standard. Despite the celebration, I know in my heart that this war is far from over. Our fathers and grandfathers died fighting the English. Joan gives us hope. But I do not know if hope is enough to ensure victory. All right. KD 81 to 11. Very solid. All right, not really too much to say about that. So, that was The Rising. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, a little bit disappointed with the resistance, but uh, what can we do? Um, coming up will be The Siege of Paris. We have a lot of fond memories from this. Oh no, comes to mind. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next uh, episode.